Ama Esther Olichuku. I work with AMWAT as the Adolescent Sexual and Reproductive Health Coordinator. This program is sponsored by AMWAT and AMOTEL. AMWAT Adolescent Sexual and Reproductive Health Program started in 2020 as a response to the high rate of teenage pregnancies recorded in the communities where AMWAT assisted health facilities are situated. AMWAT uh, mission has been very wonderful and their efforts here are saved so many of our teenagers. Before the implementation of the program, we did our fact finding, assessments and focus group discussions with the community stakeholders, the school principals and teachers. This was to confirm that there is need for this program, for them to own it and for sustainability. Uh, the AMOD Adolescent Program have been going on in the school before I was transferred to this school. And since I came, they have been visiting the school. The success of adolescents depends on the quality of their environment, the experiences, the services they can assess, the information they have and the norms in their communities. Investing in adolescents strengthens their ability to know and protect their rights and build a better future for themselves, their families and the country at large. I was a peer educator in Christ the King College. I have graduated and I'm now a teacher. All thanks to Amot, I learned self-confidence. Today, I can stand in the public to talk. I can also advise my fellow peer girls that they should stand and speak for themselves in times of anything, that they should not be scared to talk or to speak out. Amot's ASRH program is an inclusive program where adolescents and young people between the ages of 10 to 24 years are reached. For effectiveness and for us to reach out to them at different levels, this program was split into three. The school-based program, the young mother's program, and the community-based program. In the school-based program, we employ peer-to-peer -peer education strategy. The peer educators, after being trained, step down these teachings to their peers in their various groups. General sensitizations, counseling sections, inter- and intra-school competitions are also done. All these are geared towards behavioral modification. The aims of being here is to thank the Amot people for how they have changed our lives so far, especially for investing their resources just to see that rural areas are developed. Wow! We also have beautiful sessions with these young girls and boys where they receive teachings to keep them focused. This has been interesting and life impacting. We are girls. Our gender is not a disadvantage. Yes, we are girls. We are strong, beautiful and intelligent. We are resilient, hardworking and courageous. With this article given to every girl child, I am so inspired to pursue my dream. Thank you very much, Amot, for bringing in this program. Menstrual hygiene program was done. This year, we reached out to 1,573 girls. Each girl that participated in this program received free disposable sanitary pads. We also reached out to the boys. Yes, we did this because we know that they are future fathers and they have sisters at home who attend schools where this program is not done. The Young Mothers Program is a support group program where these young mothers receive special support and guidance. Sections are held with them to boost their self-esteem, motivate them to return back to school and learn a life skill. We have so many of them who have completed their secondary school education because of the support they received from Amot, and lots of them have started their own businesses. This is so awesome. Thank you to the Amos people, because if not for them, to be sincere, I don't know if I'll be able to be here today. Home visits are also done because some of them don't even know how to take care of their babies. We also reach out to vulnerable girls. Some of these girls are orphaned. We do this so that they don't become victims of teenage pregnancies or become school dropouts. I was in Ekmin Secondary School when I lost my mom. And the, after the, the secondary school, the Amos people assist me to learn work. In the community-based program, youth champions selected from those villages that make up a community are specially trained and they step down these teachings in their cohort groups. This is to reduce gender-based violence among adolescents, reduce child marriage, stop female genital mutilation, curb the menace of substance abuse. Also, this is to increase awareness, acceptance, and access to methods of family planning. 
adolescents and young people have been reached out in over 73 villages. Behind me are the youth champions of OPRG. We've seen a lot of changes since this program started. All these we are aimed to ensure that adolescents and young people in the rural areas have a successful transition into adulthood. We appreciate immensely the support of Amot and Amote chapters all over the world. Thank you, Amot and Amote! Save it, save it, Pusha! These young ones are who they are today because of your unwavering support. God bless you richly.